I do some news, I do some motorcycle riding, and I do some weekend warrior projects where I just take on something that I'm not really professionally trained to do. Uh, I had to fix uh, the handle of a riveted handle of a chef's knife, an 8 inch uh, German chef's knife. So let's jump into it. It's the Jovial. Thank you for joining me. If you're wondering, I talk loud in a lot of my episodes because my signal to noise ratio on this microphone is not great. So I boost the signal to compensate for the high level of noise. Uh, it's just a matter of all the cables that I have running and electrical interference and stuff like that. In case you're wondering why I talk loud, I'm going to talk a little quieter because I think it's kind of obnoxious when I hear myself talking loud. Well, uh, this week was replacing the handle on a German Wutzhoff, uh 8 inch chef's knife. Now, it's a $125 knife. I bought it 15 or 20 years ago. And it's an old resin handle that appears to be riveted on, but it was the resin handle looks like it was molded around the handle and then, uh, and then rivets were put in and then they grind it all down to make it look like one uh, sort of sort of uh, continual piece of you know material on either side. Well, that was complicated though because there's curves to the handle where the um, where the heel is. You know, it comes down on the uh, the back end of the blade there, and there's there's a sort of curve where the handle planes of wood would have to sort of curve out and that was really the trick to figuring out how to do this how am I going to solve that problem because I won't be able to sand it perfectly uh, to mate with those curves so that was really uh, the whole thing about this what made it so complicated was those curves I even thought about just grinding the knife down so that it was just one you know single plane of steel uh, but I'm not great with a you know, a grinder and I would probably screw it up. Uh, so what I ended up doing is I removed the handles and I'm gonna play some video clips of this actually happening.
<laughs> I really thought this wasn't gonna work. Uh, even with the scars on the heel, uh, the knife looks beautiful. It's really like an art piece in my kitchen. Uh, every time I walk past it, I'm like, dang, where'd that come from? Uh, so I'm pretty impressed. And it just so happens I have the knife here so I can show it to you. And uh, can you uh, see that? Yeah, all right. So if we take a look at this, you can see how well that handle turned out. And it's very smooth. And so you can see the resin, how, how the resin filled in these parts that I was worried about um, right there. Yeah, focus. Uh, so that's that was the tricky part there, to get the heel to mate up with the wood. And it did, and it worked, it worked. Uh, so I reconfigured the, the grip of the handle a little bit. You can see where the old metal was and the new resin filled in. Um, I added a bit more swoop to this so it has a better feel in your hand. And, um, Otherwise, and a little bit more on top. So you can see here, there's some resin that fills in where the metal used to be. Um, there, you can see there. So steel here, and then it's it's graded into the resin. Uh, and yeah, it really does, it looks really sharp. So, and it feels absolutely great. I mean, this knife is, before it was just an average chef's knife and now I feel like it just stepped up like by a lot. So pretty happy about that. But the question is, after all of this work, is it a good knife? Now this is German steel. It's a Woodsoft classic eight inch chef's knife, which is known to be, you know, a pretty great, you know, home chef's knife. I mean, if you're gonna be doing cooking at home, this is probably one of the knives you're gonna go with. So the question is, 20 year old knife, re, you know, uh, rebuilt handle, and does it cut? That's my question. Let's find out. I think it cuts. It's, yeah, it's, it's very, very sharp. So, tomatoes don't really stand a chance. Uh, this is an impressive knife. Once again, um, when I bought it, I was impressed with it, and then it became average, and I've rebuilt it and given it a new life, and it, it feels good. It, looks really nice and this blade is once again razor sharp so ah, I feel really good about this and I get to use it every day of my life you know in the kitchen and so it's gonna give back you know as much as I put into it so that's the episode for today. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Click subscribe if you like this, or I also do news on a weekly basis, which is like kind of a quarantine type thing. Um, and uh, yeah, and I do household projects and I do a lot of motorcycle riding. If you like any of this or you wanna see more of me, uh, click subscribe, click like if you like this video. And if you want more detail on how I did rebuild the knife, like great detail, I can do an actual instructional uh, video on it if that's what you wanna see. So just let me know in the comments down below any questions or if you have any questions about how to do this. Uh, I know these handles tend to, to break at, after a period of time, so that maybe there's a lot of you out there. Let me know in the comments, share this video as well. And uh, I'm Fritz Jovial. I hope you are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.